To most people, Farnborough is the home of the biannual air show, but there's much more to this airfield than meets the eye. After Cody's first flight on the site in 1908, it was decided that Farnborough was to be the centre of Britain's experiments with aviation. The Royal Aircraft Establishment was created and became one of the most successful aeronautical research organisations in the world. Indeed, some of the greatest advances in aviation technology emanated from its laboratories and workshops. The gas turbine jet engine, radar, ejector seats, delta-winged flight, and a whole stream of inventions keeping Britain at the forefront of weapons technology. At the same time, the civilian aspects gave us supersonic flight in the shape of Concorde and safer travel on airlines. Wherever you look on a modern aircraft, whether it's the wing, the cockpit, the fuselage, the instruments, the navigational equipment or weapon systems, indeed any aspect of flight, right down to the pressure suits and helmets for the protection and safety of the pilots that fly them, much of the research development and testing will have taken place at Farnborough. Working alongside these pioneering scientists and engineers were the experts from the Central Unit for Scientific Photography who filmed and photographed virtually all the trials and testing conducted by the RAE in order to aid the scientists with their analysis. In an effort to preserve this priceless heritage a handful of the boffins and engineers who worked at the establishment formed an organisation called the Farnborough Air Sciences Trust to safeguard the historic buildings and artefacts, as well as the vast film and photographic archives, so that this rich heritage of British aeronautical pioneering achievement may be accessible to future generations. This A to Z of British military aviation is a compilation gleaned from this unique film footage that features some of the many successful and groundbreaking developments, as well as the not so successful trials and testing that took place at the establishment. Some of these scenes have never been viewed before outside of the RAE.